Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Happy Sunday, tea sippers. I hope everybody's doing good today. I can't believe it's almost the end of the month. We got snow last night here in Minnesota. But anyways, if y'all do not know, Things are going crazy right now in the Harris family. Chad, they might as well rename the show from Family Hustle to Family Tussle, okay? So what's going down is that basically today the Atlanta Falcons were playing against the Saints. And so, you know, King has been going live talking about he's standing on business and he was showing parts of the game. So this was King earlier. I'm going to go ahead and play you this clip. They better respect my people. They better respect my people. Y'all better respect my people. Miss. We don't do that, Atlanta. Y'all better respect my people. Y'all better respect my people. Yeah, do y'all shit. We're Michael Thomas. All right, so you guys just saw that clip. And so while he was going live, um, he got into it with somebody, okay? Him and somebody were going back and forth. He kept yelling that he's standing on business, okay? He's standing on business. I don't know what kind of business he has. You know, I don't know if he's a, you know, entrepreneur, um, if he has some type of, you know, I don't know what type of business he has, okay? But he keeps saying that he's standing on business, which I'm thinking is gangster talk, okay? So anyhow, he's hooping and hollering about he's standing on business. And finally, his parents get involved. And, um, you know, Tiny and T.R. are like, you know, you're embarrassing us. You need to calm down. You know, you need to stop this. And him and T.I. get into it, okay? Child, it took me back to damn Rashad and Ant when they were in the living room, okay, arguing and carrying on. Y'all remember this damn clip from ATL? That was a popular ass movie back in the day. Man, you ain't nobody's dead. You heard what I said. What you gonna do? I'ma leave. This is what it reminded me of, okay? So I want y'all to go ahead and watch this clip of T.I., Tiny, and King getting into it. Check this out. I know you. Though. I know you. What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all doing that to me? Y'all know me. You know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. Why you even letting somebody play with me like that? Why you letting somebody play with me like that? Why you letting him play with me like that? Why you letting him play with me like that? No, I ain't no joking. I ain't no joking. What do you mean? You are embarrassing yourself and the family, nigga. You embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. Get off me, nigga. Get off me, nigga. Well, you can't do nothing with me. Ain't shit you can do with me. Honey. All right, so y'all just watch them go back and forth. That was Tiny in the Falcon jacket, and she's trying to calm her son down, and she's saying that the other person is joking. King is like, ain't no joking with me. Then you hear T.I., you know, pull up, and he's like, you're embarrassing. You're embarrassing the family right now. And so this whole situation is sad. So after this went viral, King took to his Instagram page, and he posted the following. He says, I stand on business. Don't give a fuck who you are. Then he says, I don't give a fuck who you are. Mother efforts can't play with me in my face. Not going for that. I'm grown. Ooh, the way these kids write, honey. Y'all be grown and can't write properly, but I digress. I'm a grown ass man now, 100. Then he also says, if I'm a mistake, say that. Stop making the world think you fuck with me when you don't, 100. And then he also says, nigga be faking an image for the internet and it ain't me. So that was definitely a shot at his parents. So a lot of people right now are dragging King. He's trending on social media. Now, y'all know I have called out King for his bad behavior in the past, you know, in a respectful way, of course. But, um, you know, King is grown at this point. He's no longer a teenager. He's graduated from high school. We saw how he talked to the Waffle House employee. You know, he wanted to shake something. Stop talking. This ain't your fucking restaurant. This ain't your fucking restaurant. Everything you make, I can pull out my pocket right now. I ain't tripping on you. I ain't tripping. Get the hell out of my face. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Who the hell is he? What's your name? What's your name? My name King. You know it and your mama know it. 
Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. That's fine, I'll show you. Come back. Come back. What? Come on back. game what? On game what? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What I do? Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. We out here. We out here. I'm outside. Okay. I'm outside. Come on, shake some. Come on, shake some. On how he was very disrespectful to them. And then we seen what he did to the homeless man recently when he gave him that hot uh, Pocky, whatever, that super hot chip. And I think only gave him 20 bucks and a lot of people drug him for that. So King has been doing a lot of reckless stuff on social media for a while. And while it's easy to condemn him and say, you know, he's the bad seed of the family. Um, these kids are so disrespectful nowadays. Um, these kids are entitled. That's the easy commentary, right? That's, you know, th that goes without saying. I shouldn't have to say that. What bothers me is his response on social media. What kind of bothers me is the fact that he thinks he's a mistake. He says, if I'm a mistake, just say that and stop making the world think that you fuck with me when you don't. What I'm seeing here is a little boy who's hurt, okay? And a lot of people didn't know this until King came out. I had already known this for a while, but... King wasn't living with his parents when he was filming Family Hustle. All these kids didn't live there in the house, okay? Again, they got different baby mamas, you know, half the time they're living with their moms, the other half of the time, you know, they're living at the Family Hustle house. Well, King lived with his grandmother. His grandmother is the one who raised them. His grandma lived in the hood, okay? So he didn't live in that big mansion that a lot of people think that he lived in. He lived with the grandmother, and so he even spoke about this recently with Funny Marco, but like I said, I've been known this for a while. So he finally spoke on it because people kept saying, you grew up in a mansion, you're rich, why are you acting like this? And from, and to be honest with you, all the kids were living elsewhere, not just in the mansion. Tiny's mom helped to, you know, raise Zanique and, you know, the younger ones. Asia, you know, she'd be with her mom. And then Domani and Messiah were with their mom. You know, so they didn't all stay in this mansion 24-7. And I think the problem is, is King does not know where he fits in at. Yeah, man, it's a lot about that TV show, man, that got people confused. Because um, I live with my grandma. You know, we'll go to the house on like a weekend, they'll say, hey, we shooting today. We need y'all at the house. They'll come get me from my grandma's house. And right after we done, when the cameras go off, I'm right back to my grandma's house. Mm. Yeah. He's very different from the other kids. The other kids are more calm. They're not in and out of trouble. They're not going viral for foolishness. King has a lot of T.I. in him. And um, now the, the chickens are coming home to roost because see, it was okay. T.I. made a lot of excuses you know, for King's behavior when he was disrespecting the Waffle House person. He kept saying, you know, why are you arguing with a fry cook? Why are you even arguing with somebody in that line of work as if somebody being a waitress or a waiter or a fry cook is beneath them? Man, I spoke, I mean, of course I spoke with my son. You know, me and his uncles. You know, it was, per we were perplexed by his necessity to go back and forth with the short order cook. I didn't understand why he felt he needed to stop what he was doing to engage someone who was at such another level of life. You know, and when you excuse behavior like that instead of nipping it in the bud, what happens is that soon those same kids turn on you. You know, and for him to be going on like this, to be in his mom's face, to be even trying to buckle with his dad, says there's a lot of hurt and animosity right there, okay? This is a young man who now considers himself grown, but he's also living off of his parents' money. Let's keep it real. I've never heard of him working a job. I don't know what business he's standing on, but we know financially Tip and Tiny are taking care of King just like they are the other children, but he definitely needs some tough love, but it also sounds like he needs to heal. He has, from what I'm getting, right, this is just me putting on my little psychiatrist hat, I think he has a feeling of abandonment from his parents. I think he feels like he was abandoned at his grandmother's house, even though he probably liked it over there more because, you know, grandma, you know, they spoiled their kids, while the parents had to work and make ends meet. For him to say that he feels like a mistake, it's a lot deeper than anything going on at this football game. 
It's a lot deeper than somebody joking with him. It's a lot deeper than him constantly screaming that he's standing on business. The boy feels hurt and abandoned by his parents to the point where he feels like he was a mistake. He's a burden on them. And that part, it, it hurts because, you know, as a parent, like I say, parenting does not come with a handbook. It's not easy. You know, even when I talk about the situations with Lil Boosie and his daughter, it's not easy being a parent, especially being a, a young parent. You know, T.I. been having kids since he was a teenager. And so you're trying to figure it out and you're kind of growing with your kids as you're also trying to figure out your own life. Then on top of it, you add celebrity to it. When you have a celebrity parent, it is hard because now you have to share that parent with the rest of the world. Your mom and dad can't always be at all the parent teacher conferences. They can't be at all the basketball and football games because they got to go out there to perform to pay bills. And so a lot of kids end up feeling like a sense of abandonment. You know, Monique even talked about it with her with her older children. She said she felt bad because when she was chasing her comedy career, she wasn't able to parent the older children. She didn't get, there were days, you know, weeks that she didn't see her kids because she was on the road. So I think this whole situation is a lot deeper and it blew up and nobody wants things like this to blow up in public. So I feel really bad for them. So it, it's really sad. Nobody wants this to be on public display. But I think at this point, you know, King is grown. You know, King is going to have to get out here and like really make something happen, really shake something financially. I don't care if it's his music or him starting some type of clothing line, but you can't disrespect the hand that also feeds you. OK, and you see a lot of people online joking and clowning him saying that, you know, he's a little rich sport boy. He's not about that life. Y'all don't know. You know, what I'm saying these comments and just the, the situations that he's constantly finding himself in. I just hope that this young boy don't crash out trying to prove to the whole world that he's tough. We seen that situation a few years ago on the playground when he went to go grab his backpack and he acted like he had a gun in the backpack. What you want to do? What you want to do? Take this from here? Yeah, I'm from here. Yeah, I'm from here. All right, so. Oh, oh man, y'all, let's go. What's up with you, bro? What's up with you, bro? Let's go. Putting your head around me, talking out your ass like you want to do something. What's up, bro? Oh, Lord. What's up, bro? Nothing. What? Nothing. Relax, or what? Nothing. Or what? Or what? Nothing. Or what? You know, so I don't want to see this young man crash out. So I think that at this point, while, you know, the internet is cheering for T.I. and Tiny to just cut him off and throw him to the wolves. I think, you know, as parents, it's not that easy, right? It's easy to type bullshit on the internet. But at the end of the day, that's still their child. I think there needs to be some counseling if there's not already, but that young man feels like he's a mistake. That young man is hurting. The fact that he bucked up to his mom and dad publicly says there's a lot of turmoil, anger, entitlement. It's all of that. It's not just one thing. It's all of that going on. And I think they really need to address that before it's too late. You know, I just found the whole situation heartbreaking, but this is the reality. You're chasing fame and when you're trying to build a brand that sometimes you're not able, you're, there's only 24 hours in a day. You know, it's hard to be able to split that time between, you, you know, just it's hard for you to even find time for yourself. Sometimes, let alone your children in the world and while writing songs and going on tour. And so I, I, I can sympathize with what they're going through. It's really sad. So I leave the question up to y'all, tea sippers. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. How do y'all feel about this situation that went down today with King, T.I. and Tiny? Do you guys feel like he's just a disrespectful brat and they need to cut him off? Or do y'all feel like how I feel like the situation is deeper because I'm reading a lot deeper into what he wrote about him feeling like a mistake. And, you know, if you don't fuck with me, then just don't fuck with me. Don't don't front for the world. Um, I think there's a lot of hurt there and animosity, especially towards his parents. There's some abandonment issues. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this entire situation. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Also, feel free to share my video. Make sure you guys don't forget to like the video. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. I will talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.